This video is for a simple shift dress with a slight both neckline and an asymmetrical front. Okay, so the both neckline is just slightly wider here, but still nice and high at the nape. It's got the underarm bust darts, which you've already manipulated from the previous video. So instead of having your dart up here on the shoulder as normal, it's underneath the bust. And then there will be an asymmetrical seam here across the front. So to start off with, I have laid out my blocks on the front complete. So I have my full front for the for the bodice and for the skirt. Okay, so the whole lot is laid out. And we're going to do a couple of little changes to the neckline and the armhole first. So I have widened my neckline three centimetres. So I simply measured from my neck point out three centimetres and then shaped that in nicely to my original neck point. And then I simply folded the pattern over and traced it through so that I have a complete mirror image on the second side here. And then I did the same thing on the armhole. I've just come in one centimetre on the armhole just to make it a little bit neater. It's still kind of a slightly wide shoulder so I didn't want to cut it in too much but I just wanted to give it a little bit of shape. So I've just come in one centimetre and again softened that down into my armhole. And as I did with the neckline, I traced that through onto the other side. So you've got the same shape on both armholes. Then what I did was I've marked in my fusing facing. So as with most of my dresses, I like to fuse my lining, which comes right up to the neck and the armholes. So I've traced off or marked in the pattern for the shape that will be cut only in fusing. So how I did that, I simply came down five centimetres here at the front, squared off, and then I'm bringing it down in line pretty much with the dart here on the side seam. But I've just by hand drawn in a nice curve so that piece will get cut in fusing only. Now you don't need to mirror that over because you can cut that to the fold when you're actually cutting it out in fusing. Okay so that's all the change that you need to do to the top of the dress. Um, our, as I say our bust dart was already manipulated. We have our waist dart and the silhouette is nice and straight. I don't think it's tapered. I'm just going to leave it nice and straight. So the only thing we have to do is draw in the seam here. Okay. So basically you're, sorry, can you see I'm looking at? We're now going to draw in the asymmetrical seam. So my reckoning is that it comes from about six inches down on the higher side. I'm literally going to draw a point six inches down on my side seam and I'm keeping the skirt length at the 60 centimetres which is the length of our block. Again that's completely up to you, you can adjust the length as you wish and you can also adjust the length or the position of this line as you wish but this is just what I'm going with. So I'm coming down six inches, okay? And then I'm coming down, it, it comes quite close to the hem, so I'm literally going to come back up um, about 8 centimetres from my hem, right, so you can see. So here I'm literally coming up 8 centimetres. And then we simply join those two lines together. And that's it. And obviously you trace off all in one piece. And the same for the bottom half. Okay. So, obviously I changed some things on the front bodice of my dress. So I need to do the same to the armhole on the back bodice of my dress. So 
we also want to eliminate this start. So the first thing we do is take that centimetre off. Okay. And that's roughly about 7.5. So I tend to do the same, bring it down roughly about 7.5 and then blend it in. So that's your dart eliminated. But then we also brought the front armhole in one centimetre. So that means that we have to bring in the back armhole one centimetre. So that doesn't count as this centimetre. That centimetre is eliminating your dart. So you need to go in a further one centimetre. So measure in. And then blend in. So that you get a nice shape on your back armhole. Okay, so all of that will be gone. And then the other thing that we did to our front bodice was we brought our neckline out three centimetres. So we're going to do the same on the back. Now, to get a nice line, you are going to have to drop that a wee bit because otherwise it would literally end up dead straight. So I would only, I'd bring that down about a centimetre because you don't want the zip too high up at the back neck anyway. That'll just help you get a better line. Okay, and then blend that in. And then that's gone. Okay, now, in our sketch, the asymmetrical line is actually on the back as well. So you have to make sure you're gonna, you're gonna um, draft out your back bodice in the full. Sorry, I'm not making sense. You have to lay out your back bodice, both left side and right side, and the same with the skirt. So in other words, you're doing exactly the same with your back blocks as you did with your front blocks, so that then you can draw in your asymmetrical line. So as with the front, you'll come down six inches from here and we came up eight centimeters from here and then you'll draw in your asymmetrical line exactly the same way as you did with your front blocks and that will give you your shift dress with asymmetrical seam.